What's up, Summoners? Hope you guys have been doing well. My name is Nathan Ng, and I'll be your host for our patch 12.15 preview. If you're unfamiliar with this series, just know that if you're new to this type of video, I'll just provide you guys a sneak peek of what balance changes that you can expect to see next patch. Make sure you subscribe because we'll also upload another video going over the full set of changes as soon as we get the details. That being said, let's get started. First, let's begin with the upcoming system changes, with a few buffs and nerfs to cover. Starting with nerfs, First Strike and Divine Senderer are set to receive some adjustments. By design, First Strike creates a ton of chaos as it not only grants the user a bunch of extra gold, but plenty of damage to back it up. Certain champions, notably those that scale into the late game absurdly well, take advantage of this keystone far too well. They're able to hit their item power spikes much earlier, and there isn't much combat power being sacrificed, if at all, to do so. With some nerfs, the risks included in the keystone should increase, making it one that requires confidence to use consistently. Divine Senderer is an item that has received numerous changes, including four this season. As an item that provides an impressive amount of durability alongside ample damage, it's a popular choice for many champions, including those that it wasn't designed for. At the moment, many non-fighter champions are building it, signaling that once again it is too strong. That's it for the nerfs, so let's talk about the buffs next. For system buffs, we have another two coming up. They're essentially the same type of buff as if for two items that build out of Quicksilver Sash, Macarial Scimitar and Silver Mirror Dawn. I nearly forgot that Silver Mirror Dawn was in the game because it's so rarely built. That being said, Riot plans on giving these two items an upgrade next patch. My guess is that the cooldown might be reduced slightly. Otherwise, we might see minor stat buffs for both items. Before moving forward, I do want to mention that we've assembled an amazing team of coaches over at ProGads.com. If you're having trouble finding your groove and can't seem to climb the season, one of our experts can analyze your play and help you rank up fast. So definitely hit one of them up. With system changes covered, let's run through the champion changes next. Kicking it off, we have nerfs. The following champions are currently too strong in Riot's eyes and are set to receive nerfs next patch. Master Yi, Kiana, Sivir, Gwen, Talia, and Kalista. Following some massive changes and even a hotfix buff, Master Yi has been dominating at every single rank. That's right, adding some creative skill expression to his Q and W has finally given him a chance to shine even at higher levels of play. One might argue that he's simply overtuned, but the point stands that he's currently too strong. Whether they're durability or damage nerfs, we can surely expect something next patch. In spite of a rather weak performance in solo queue, especially for average players, Gwen is doing pretty well in high elo. She's also heavily contested in competitive play, so for those of you who are confused by this change, you can blame the good players for it. For the other champions, Kiana, Sever, Talia, and Kalissa, they're getting nerfed because they're performing exceptionally well in high elo. Even Kalissa, who was underperforming for basically the entire season, is now comfortably past a 51% win rate in elite play. I think the biggest candidate for a nerf, however, is Sivir. She's been destroying the bottom lane ever since her mid-scope update, sitting at a high 52% win rate for the last two patches. Riot went easy on her with the last nerf, so maybe we'll get to see the real one next patch. That's it for the nerf, so let's wrap up the video with some champion buffs. The following champions will receive buffs on patch 12.15. Lilia Jungle, Singe, Ramis, Leona, Thresh, and champions who use energy as a resource. Namely, those are Zed, Lee Sin, Akali, Shen, and Kennen. Although Lilia is performing really well in the top lane, she's not doing too hot in the role that she was designed for. While her overall win rate is acceptable, she struggles in high elo where her win rate sits around at 48%. With some jungle focus buffed likely to monster damage, we'll hopefully see better days in the near future. Some buffs for tanks are coming up as well. Singe is underperforming at the moment with a 48% win rate. Following the durability changes, he did receive a couple of changes, but they weren't too significant. It's more likely that since the enemies are harder to kill, he's simply unable to apply the same pressure as prior to patch 12.10. Thus, he's getting some love alongside Ramis, who still finds it difficult to play the game even in high elo. Finally, we have Thresh and Leona. They're supposed to be hyper-aggressive supports that can keep scaling enchanters in check. However, they're currently too weak and performing at what might be their season's lowest valley. While absurdly popular in the past patches, they've fallen off hard, seeing lower pick rates and enchanters and other aggressive picks like Ash and Pipe. I'm guessing they'll receive some damage buffs to boost their kill pressure. Again, we'll let you know all the final changes as soon as we can, so make sure you keep an eye on our channel. That covers our 12.15 patch preview. Hope you guys all enjoyed the video. Feel free to let us know what changes you're most excited for next patch. Are there any changes that you think Riot missed? Let us know what you think about that as well. And as always, stay safe, stay healthy, and have a wonderful day. Peace.